Okay, here we are in Photoshop. Let's see if we can create some awesome textures. Right, so I'm actually gonna start on the color ID map. This is the one I'm gonna create as like my, or treat as my base material. So I'm gonna file, save as, and uh, I'm gonna just call this um, barrel texture master. And I'm gonna try and put all my different texture maps into this one file and I can just save them out one at a time, but we'll, we'll get to that. Okay, so I don't want this as a target, I want this as a Photoshop file, because I need to save everything in this. So let's click on save. Right, so all this is gonna be is like a, a reference layer. We're, we're never actually gonna see this. Uh, so I, I am gonna duplicate it, just so that it's not a locked background layer. I'm just gonna rename this to color ID. Okay, so the first thing I probably want to do is to get a the, the wooden materials on here. So that's what I'll concentrate on first of all. So I'm going to open, what am I going for? Wooden planks. This is gonna be the first, the first thing I need. Okay, so let's just select pretty much everything. I don't need that white band on the bottom. So I'll leave that alone. And I'm just going to copy with Control and C, go back into my Texture Master and I'm gonna press Control and V to paste that in. And that's gonna need some serious resizing. So I'm holding Shift. In fact, let's go through the whole process. Control and T to turn on your Transform tool. Uh, and then every time I click on the corner, I'm holding shift because I want to keep the dimensions. So I don't want to distort this at all. There we go. So I'm just going to try and keep the height about right. So about there, something like that. Okay, now pretty much all I need to do is put some planks in place. So I might just put this, kind of running out of room. Um, yeah, I'll we'll put it over here and I'll just move it over a bit at a time, probably. Right, so let's just press enter to save that, control and zero, and then let's get some selection. So the first thing is I'm going to get rid of all of that. So press backspace. And then I'm going to grab that, which is going to be an entire plank, hopefully. And with my move tool, I'm just going to move it over. And I'm aiming to cover the green and on the one above it, the yellow area. So I'm gonna hit Control and T to free transform this. And I can overlap slightly, but I'm just covering that with, with a plank, really. And then what I need to do is repeat that again. So I'm gonna grab the next plank. And then with my Move tool, I'm gonna to move this over again. And again, I'm gonna go over slightly, I think, because I'm gonna use some masking to sort this out, like that. So that's working out okay, isn't it? So that's two. I'm gonna repeat this with one plank at a time until I've covered all the green areas. Okay, so I've just finished laying my sort of first layer of planks. So now what I want to do is I'm just gonna hide that for a second. And I'm going to use my magic wand tool to select all these green areas. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just select a green area for a start. I'm going to go to select similar. Okay, and then I'm gonna press Alt on my keyboard and just deselect these yellow chunks up here. 
and replace them, uh, green chunks, sorry, deselect all the green chunks, and I'm going to replace them with the yellow ones. So I'm now going to hold shift on my keyboard to add in these yellows. Like that. So that should now all be the pieces that I want to be selected. And then, with that selection in place, I'm going to go back to this layer. I'll just turn it on. And making sure that selection is still there, I'm going to click on this here, which creates a mask. And then you can see that that plank has only gone where I want it to. There are a few places, though, that still need a little bit of work that I haven't quite copied through. So in order to get that, I'm just going to get a white brush and use my paintbrush. So I'm going to click on the actual layer here. And just bring that up. Bring that brush size down. Make sure it is a hard edged brush. I'm just going to paint in the mask in any areas that I'm not happy with. Like that. Just turn that opacity up, that's why that's not working. So I've got a bit of black there showing through that I don't like. So this would probably be all right on the final map, but I don't particularly want to risk it. So I'm just tidying things up where I think I might need to. And I think I also need to add these areas to the mask as well. So I'm just going to do that. And I just don't want to leave any areas with blank. I can overlap a little bit on this because the two maps in a sec, I'm going to kind of cross this with another map and the two maps should work together. So I just need to get this in place. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that for my first kind of layer of planks. I now need to repeat that on another layer. So I'll speed that up and I'll repeat the process to get <coughs> two, two lines of planks, which is what I'm going for. Okay, so what I've done in this instance is I've just created a layer with all, all the planks going across like that, which should work okay in a sec. So what I'm going to do is just go to my color ID map. I'm going to select all the red. So click on one bit of red, go to select similar. And then I'm going to go back onto my, this layer here that contains all the planks and just hit backspace just to bring that, that red back through. I'll turn on this layer as well. So now you should be able to see that they're, they're working together nicely. I've got a nice bit of variation going on for, for this barrel. So that's so far so good, I think. What I'm gonna do now, because I'm pretty happy with that, is I'm just gonna merge these two layers, merge layers like that, and that layer's finished now. I'm happy with that. The next thing to do is work on these layers up here. So what I'm gonna do for that is create some new masks, I think. Okay, so the next job is to get um, some textures going on, on on these. So all I'm gonna do is get some more, get another sample of these wooden planks. I need kind of a square area. So I quite like that. And I'm just gonna copy that over. And we'll 
have a new layer for this. And that's obviously going to need scaling down. And rotating around. And putting in place. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll knock the opacity down on this one so I can see where I'm putting it. I'm going to try my absolute bestest to line this up without having to do one plank at a time. So you can see I'm lining that edge up with that one there and I'm just going to bring that in as well as I can. I'm happy with that. So that doesn't need to be too neat because I'm going to overwrite it with um, these textures on there. So I'm happy with that one. That's nice. And then I'm going to get another sample of wooden planks to put on the other side. So that looks good. <clears throat> And let's just zoom out again. I'm going to paste this one in place and scale it down. And rotate it around. Knock the opacity down so I can see what I'm doing. Zoom in. And again, I'm going to try and put this in place. So it starts about there. And I'm just going to pull that in like that. And what are we looking at here now? So that now needs moving down to line that one up and I can pull that up. Yeah, that's close enough. So I'll put the opacity back up on those and I'll zoom out. Press control and zero to go full screen. Oh, if it wants to work. There we go. Right. So I'm happy with both of those. They look grand. I'm going to merge those layers. Merge layers. Okay, now what I need to do, I'll hide those for the time being. And now I just need to get some individual pieces of wood that go over these pieces here. And once I've got those, I'll be happy. So I'll show you how to put a few of those in. And then once they're sorted, um, you can you can do the rest. So we just need to place those around. So I'm, all I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to do it for one and try and transfer it over to the other side just to save time. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is as I, like normally you would resize like that, but if I hold control as I do it, I can skew the actual dimensions of this and it'll kind of just fit in nicely with the shape I'm going for. So like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'll reuse these wherever I can. So I'm just going to duplicate that layer. And then uh, I'm going to move this to here. So I'm probably going to do the same one every third. So we're going to do a um, free transform and rotate this around until it fits in place. That looks like a good fit. And then I'll duplicate that again. And I think you kind of get the idea of what's happening now. So I'll go all the way around and get my other samples in, merge all those layers together, and then we'll move on um, to getting the metal on. So you'll see how this comes together.
Okay, so now you should be able to see that I have gone all the way around um, this particular part of the UV map uh, and I'm happy with that. But what I need to do is merge all that into one layer. So it starts here, so I'll click on that top one all the way down to the bottom one. Hold shift to select all the layers, right click and merge layers. And then I will just get my move tool to make sure that they all move together, they do. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And then what I'll do is duplicate that layer by dragging it onto there. Let's see if we can move that straight across and get it as close as I possibly can. That's pretty close. And I'm gonna hit Control and T and I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift when I resize this so that it scales from the center. I don't want to interfere with the bottom of this too much. So that looks okay. Hopefully. So now I've got a lot of layers that I can now merge. Let's merge all these together. Wait, wait, don't merge them. Whew. It's very important before I merge anything that these layers that I've just created, these circular ones, go on top. So that then I don't have to worry about what else can and can't be seen. And then I'll merge all of these. Okay, and I'm just going to call this layer Wood Diffuse. So I am so ecstatically happy with that. That is now that part of um, the material complete. What I need now is to create the metallic part. So I need to go back into my color ID map. I'm going to hide the wood for now. And I'm going to open the metal. There it is. Right, what I'm going to do is select almost all of it. I'm just not going to bother with the bottom again. Now, I'm not convinced that this is a seamless texture, so this might create a seam. Uh, if you want to create a seamless texture, there are ways of doing that. Uh, there are many tutorials. For time reasons, I'm not going to worry too much about that. If I get a visible seam, it can be something that I would just correct later. Um, but you would you would make this probably a seamless material first. Anyways, I'm going to go to Control and C to copy that, and I'm going to bring it in here, and I'm going to press Control and V to bring in this metallic layer, and I'm going to press Control and T on here, and scale this down so that it kind of fits where I want it to fit which is just over the areas where there is some red. So it's going to start about there. And I don't mind there being a little bit of distortion on this. About there. Right, so that's now on the layer. I'm going to go to my color ID map. I'll just hide that for a second. Select anything that's red. Uh, select similar so I've got a selection of just red go back to my metal layer and put a mask on there and you can see that that now shows where the metal should be so that's good I'm gonna call this layer metal diffuse right at that stage we've we've done it we have a diffuse texture now I'm not quite happy with, if we zoom in, there's a, I think a little bit of yellow and green showing through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this mask. Oh, delete it. I'm going to go back to my color ID, click on red again, select similar, and I'm going to go under select and I'm going to modify. I'm going to expand this by one pixel just to make that selection a little bit bigger so that um, I'm not going to see any of my color map underneath that. And then I'll go back onto my metal diffuse and I'll put the mask on. Yep, yeah, and that looks much cleaner. Right, so that is my diffuse texture. So I'm going to save this out at this point. So file, save as, target. I'm going to call this barrel 
diffuse and you can see it's going to my source images folder which is good save um, right here's a question for you if it asks you do you want 24 or 32 bits per pixel unless something's going to be see-through it's always 24 32 bits per pixel gives you a um, transparency alpha layer so we don't want that okay so that's that first material done what we need to do now is create a uh, a roughness map so what I'll do is I'm going to select both of these right click and I'm going to in fact not right click I'm going to go down here and create a new folder for them which is a group and I'm just going to call that diffuse wicked okay what I want to do now is copy both of these layers I'm going to take them out of my uh, diffuse Just move them below there, that's it, right. So take them out of my diffuse group. I can close that. And this is now going to become my wood roughness. And you are going to become my metal roughness. Like that. Right, and now I'm going to modify these so that I get something that's quite rough. So on my wood layer, I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments. I'm going to desaturate it to make sure it's black and white. You won't notice a massive difference on that because it already looked pretty black and white. And I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and I'm going to do Levels, I think. And what I want is something that is quite white because this is quite a rough barrel I'm going for. So... Okay, I can't see anything happening because I need to hide my diffuse layer. Let's try this again. Silly Shane. Okay, um, image adjustments levels. Okay, so I'm going to take out a lot of the black. Almost all of the black, to be fair. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. So that's going to be my uh, roughness there. Okay, for my metal, I don't want that to be particularly rough at all. Um, so I'm going to desaturate this one as well. Take out the color. And um, I want this to be a little bit rough because I'm going for like an aged metal. Um, but not too rough. So I think I'm going to try leaving that where it is. I could always come back and change it if I want to. So that's okay so I think at this stage I'm going to save out my roughness map file save as okay so I'm going to save it as a target this one's going to be called barrel roughness oh roughiness no barrel roughness good and I don't want that for channels so get rid of that save Right, so I'm now going to put these in their own layer. I'm going to put them in their own folder. So this is going to be roughness. R O U G H N E S S. Okay. Right. I'm going to copy these again. And get the two copies and just get them out of those groups. Right, this time I need a metallic map. And that's very, very easy because, first of all, things are either metallic or they're not. So for the wood diffuse, um, I actually don't need that to be part of this. So I'm going to delete that layer. And I only need metal. So let's just hide the diffuse layer again and hide the color ID. Um, Maybe I do want the wooden layer. Let me just bring that back. But what I'm going to do with this wooden layer is just fill it with black. So I'm just going to press Control and Delete to do that. And that does that. So I'm going to call this wood metallic. Like so. And then my metal metallic. Metallic. I'm going to pull that in front of the wood so that I can see it. 
and this wants to be pretty much white. So I'm going to desaturate this layer. Uh, image adjustments desaturate, like so. And then I'm going to mess with the levels adjustments. Levels. I'm just going to take out almost all of the black, like that. And that is my metallic map. So file, save as. Okay, this is going to be a targa as well. Don't want alpha channels, and this one's going to be called barrel metallic. Like so, I'm happy with that. And then there's one more thing that we need to do, and that's get sexy ass normal map. So let's put these two into a group and call this one metallic. And then I'll be hiding that. Right, now what I need is my sampled normals. So control A, control C. I'm going to copy this in just above the layer with my color ID map. So we'll paste that there. So that is um, the first part of a normal map, but we can actually do a little bit better than that. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to copy the wood and the metal diffuse layers again. So let's get a copy of that. And then I'm going to, if it will let me, just drop those on the layer just in front of the normal map. I'm then going to merge them. So merge layers. And I'm then going to desaturate them. Image adjustments and desaturate. Okay, so you can see that that's now laid on top. Now, um, Photoshop, if you've got the right version, has got a very wonderful uh, filter in there. If you click on it, go to 3D, you can generate a normal map. And I'm going to generate a normal map off of this wood and metal. So let's give it a sec. And it'll give us, if you can see there, the kind of fine detail, which will make the normal map look a lot... Oh, it'll just make it look better, do you know what I mean? That's what we want. It's going to make it look a lot better. So you can you can mess with all these settings. Uh, I'm just going to go with the default because it should give me what I need. So I'll click on OK, like so. And I now have a normal map that sits on top of this. And what I want to do with that normal map is blend it. Now, there is a better way of doing what I'm about to do. I'm just going to do it the quickest way. So with the wood diffuse copy layer on top, I'm going to go to here, which is your blending style, and I'm going to go to overlay. And you'll see that blends them together. So now I'm getting both sets of normal information, and that'll be wicked. So I'm going to save this out as a normal map file. Save as, and I'm going to call this one, once it's a targa file, T -t -t targa barrel normal save okay right I'll just do a little bit of tidying up here before we move on so let's get both those layers let's, so we've got um, we'll call this detail normal or would if I could spell detail normal and this one here is going to be sampled normals oh come on Shane what are you doing like that and we'll put these in a folder oh try again folder and we'll call this normal okay now we're just going to save this Photoshop file so we've saved all the different maps onto different layers and into different folders so we can come back and make any changes that we need to um, but what we'll do now is we'll tie up the texturing part because it's taken ages, hasn't it? Jesus. Okay, so what we'll be doing in the next and final step is we'll be back in Maya and we're going to build a uh, material that will show all this beautiful detail off. So we'll be using a, a physically based rendering shader which looks miles better than your standard sort of Lamberts or Fongs or Blinds. So I will see you in the next step for that and then we'll be finished. Yes.